Hello everybody, Wimmer here back in the shed and we're doing my 2021 crew shirt update. These are the uh, crew shirts that I've added throughout the year. Last year I did one where I uh, went through the entire collection and figured some people would be interested in seeing the new stuff that I've added since then. Um, so it's been, uh, actually it might have been a little over a year now, but uh, yeah, this year went by quick and there's quite a few stuff I was like, I bought that last year, or this year, but yeah. So the oldest thing we've added was a sh shirt and pants combo of the Derek Hope 1991 crew shirt and uh, oh man there's a lot of cat hair on this uh 1991 pure later stuff it doesn't fit me but it was like a hundred bucks with a shirt and the pants and then i bought the hat for like 10 afterwards so there was that then i bought these for 20 each there's three of these coming up uh true x crew shirts this is the auto owners from 2018 here's a uh, brent sherman Aikens crew shirt. This was like 10 or 15 bucks on eBay. So this is a 2XL and it's not going to fit me obviously, but it's still pretty neat to add to the Serta collection. Here's the pants form. <laughs> the Pure Later shirt. We have the Bass Pro 5-hour variant, which coming up there will be a 5-hour Bass Pro variant, where Bass 5-hour is the dominant one. This one, that one actually had tags on it. I think that was another $20 one. Here's a Bubble Wallace Lidos that I found at Value Village for 2 bucks. It's a medium, I think, or a small. It's a small, but it's still really cool to find these at thrift stores. So obviously I picked it up. Here's the other Truex, the 5-hour Bass Pro. So that was another one that was, uh, actually I think these were 15 each. And they were just, somebody didn't know what they had and they put race polo on it, so that was fun. <sighs> now for the fun part. So I'm trying to complete Kurt Busch's collection, or career in crew shirts. And, uh, this, I can't believe this was this year. But, uh, here's this rookie one from 2001. I already had his 03 and his 2013. So out of 20 one years i have i think nine or ten so we're about halfway here's 2002 boy it's a lot nicer having a uh, makeshift studio now <laughs> even if it is a shed and bare bones it still looks cool here's 2016 with haas and monster and here's 09 these Miller Lite ones are a pain to get. There was one that ended today, and it didn't go for any bids, but it was a medium, and I can't wear it, and it was like 07 or 08. Here's 2011, which was actually mislabeled as Joey Logano, but I know it was Kurt because it's a Dodge, and it had Coca-Cola on it, which I don't believe in 2012 it did. Here's 2021, which... I can't believe how expensive the Monster Ganassi ones are. They're still a hundred bucks. But I got this one from a friend for free when Ganassi was closing. Gave me a bunch of the stuff from there. And then I think I bought one last year, but I bought one that was in my was an XL, so I'll be able to wear it. Here's a medium and an XL. <laughs> I'm gonna end up getting the whole team shirts so before the, this is done. Uh, this was a grail of mine, uh, 2016 McMurray Mac Tonight. These are still on Racing Warehouse. It was new, in, uh, new with tags when I got it. It wasn't cheap, but it's still pretty cool to have. And then finally, off of a whim, we picked up the 2009 Pennzoil Platinum Kevin Harvick crew shirt, which I don't know why. I think I just picked it up because I like the paint scheme overall. But yeah, that's my update just for my crew shirts this year. Hope you guys like what you saw today. You can comment, like, and subscribe for more. I'll see you later.